All right, uh, welcome. Thank you for uh, showing up today to watch a little bit of videos on solving logarithmic equations. So when solving a logarithmic equation, we're going to have a couple properties we're going to work on. The first one is going to be our product rule of our uh, logarithm, which, or I'm sorry, actually, our quotient that states that when we have a logarithm subtracted from another logarithm with the same base, we can rewrite that as the quotient of um, what we're evaluating for in one single logarithm. So therefore, I'll rewrite this as log base 2 of x plus 4 divided by 4 equals log base 2 of x plus 3. Now, this is very nice because now we come across to our one-to-one -one properties of logarithm state. If I have a log with the same base equal to the log with the same base, I know that what we're evaluating for is going to be equal to each other. So therefore, I'm done with the logarithm. So it's x plus 4 divided by 4 equals x plus 3. Now, to get rid of the fraction, um, I need to make sure I multiply by 4 to get the 4 off the denominator. So therefore, that now divides to 1. So I'm left with x plus 4 equals 4x plus 12. All right. So now, to solve for this, I just get my variables on the same side. So I have 4 equals 3x plus 12. Subtract the 12, subtract 12. So I get negative 8 equals 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3 x equals um, a negative 8 thirds. So now I just need to make sure that if I plug in a negative 8 thirds into my logarithm, that it'll still be a positive I can solve for it. And yes, I can. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, um, therefore, that one works. So we have a solution. Thanks.